But anyway, you are Mr. Jones. Hello. Many of you know me as self-help author turned novelist Peter Jones. But what most of you don't know is that for the past few months, 18 months or so, I've been taking on a number of, well let's call them positions, in order to make ends meet. Most of these jobs were fairly unusual and required me to remain tight-lipped about what I was getting up to in my non-writing hours, but no more. The time has come for me to tell the truth and for those that should know better to be exposed. Before I became a writer, I used to work for a small theatrical company and during that time I developed quite a talent for characterisation, costume, impersonation and disguise. Let me give you an example of what I mean. Sometimes you can create quite a profound effect just by changing one tiny detail. Take for instance these small black rimmed spectacles. If I was to put these on, there. And I know what you're thinking, but I can assure you, there's no camera trickery taking place here. This is still me. It's these talents that I've been peddling to the rich and the famous, sometimes when they were too busy or perhaps too bone idle to turn up to an event, such as a film showing or something like that. Let me give you a few examples. Here then is the actor Hugh Grant as he attends yet another film premiere. But I think, in light of what I've just told you, you can begin to get a sense that something isn't quite right. That Hugh seems a little different somehow, and that is, of course, because it's not Hugh Grant, it's me. The aforementioned spectacles there completing the costume. Uh, now, different day, different role, but again, I think you can probably tell when you look closely that that isn't the actor James McAvoy, but yours truly. Uh, me again, this time standing in for the actress and singer Rita Ora, probably one of my most demanding roles to date, particularly as it was such a cold day. Another role, that costume was particularly ticklish. Oh, and uh, yes, not quite sure how this one slipped in, but here I am again, possibly not so clear which of these two famous people I am, but you think if we just pan back slightly, yes, there I am, still trying to pass Kylie Minogue a copy of my last novel. Needless to say, I'm not proud of myself, and I hope you can forgive me for facilitating this deceit and plunging to such depths. It's a difficult life being an author, but really that's no excuse for my behaviour. There is actually a way that you can help. This week I have a new novel out. It's called The Truth About This Charming Man, and it's the witty tale of a wannabe actor and the extraordinary situations he finds himself in when he has to start pretending to be other people, first of all in order to make ends meet, and then to rescue the woman of his dreams. It's available in paperback, for the Kindle, for whatever device it is you're currently using to watch this video, and best of all, it's only a couple of quid. You'll find a link down there in the comments somewhere, maybe up there, whatever. In the meantime, you can help me by sharing this video and then I can apologise to your friends and families, but now that I've told you what I've told you, you might begin to see some of them in a different light.